Shame on you. Ninaki leaked for press. Meg private text trying to hook up with her dad. Admit adultery. Meghan Markle has been at the centre of criticism since she joined the British royal family after a marriage with Prince Harry. And while the Duchess of Sussex has managed to ruffle the feathers of the public, her former childhood friend has come forth to speak out against her and why she ended a friendship with the former actor. During an interview with Daily Mail, Ninicky or Nikki Pretty, shared how her friendship with Meghan turned sour because of the entitlement that she felt. Even by season two of Suits, she was turning down lunch with us because she said she'd be recognised, said Pretty. I felt that if I questioned her behaviour, I'd be left on the outside. Sometimes the truth is not always what you want, is it, she shared. Her time became increasingly important. When she was in town, she'd want you to drop everything to see her. If I was busy, it would be, why don't you want to see me? I'm here, let's hang out. There were instances when I felt she developed a sense of entitlement because she was on the show, added Pretty. She went on to say that she eventually realised Megan was no longer the friend I'd grown up with anymore. If you rubbed her up the wrong way, she'd make it known with the silent treatment. There was a time when we were about seven and I'd collected a bunch of insects. She didn't want to play with them. We spent two hours sitting at opposite ends of the garden with our backs to each other's in silence, Pretty went on to say. I'd always be the first to apologise, I just wanted to be besties again. She was stubborn. She digs her heels in the ground, she added. Besides, Ninicky also shocked the public to the roof when revealing shocking text messages that revealed Megan was planning to flirt and sleep with her father. It's disgusting. In other news, Howard Stern blasted Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle over their painful Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan, in an explosive rant. During recent episodes of Sirius XM radio show, the comedian dished on his struggles to watch the show, revealing he barely got through the first episode. It's been painful, Stern said. I wouldn't stay with it, but my wife wants to watch it. So we have shows we watch, but they come off like such whiny expletives. I gotta tell you, man, I just don't get it. I get that Prince Harry is expletive, off at the monarchy for his mother. They treated her like expletive. The Prince Charles was such a expletive to Lady Diana, he added. But Jesus Christ, when those two start whining about wah, 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 and they don't like me and she wants to be beloved in the country, but man, oh man, it's so boring. It's just really weird to watch two people who keep screaming, we wanted our privacy, we wanted the press to leave us alone, Stern said. And then what is their special that they put on Netflix, showing you them and their kids and their life? It's like the Kardashians except boring. You know what I mean? It's just weird, it seems so hypocritical. Stern continued bashing the ex-royals. I think we heard the story when Oprah interviewed you the first time. Before concluding his rant, the comedian said the marriage of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex won't last long after the documentary. I think he's eventually not going to dig her. I'm telling you, said Stern. 